Hi guys, Jay Mars 290 here with another Minecraft video for you. And today I am playing The Last Crystal, a 1.16.4 map made by Preston Epicness. This is part 3 of this map. If you haven't seen part 1 or part 2, I in the corner, go check it out right now. So, where we left off, I think we were stuck in. Yep, Dungeon 2. Um, so I had to spectate and get out of there. Um, but our door had not opened. Turns out, for some reason, when we got to the lever sections, the levers were already activated, so when I flicked them, I actually turned them off, and the door shut, so I just had to go back and turn the levers back on again. It's a weird way the map was designed. I don't know, but anyway, I'm going to continue on now, and um, it's a bit hard to explain, you'll probably notice it just, um, Basically what I'm saying is don't flick the levers when you, if you download this map, which by the way, link in the description for the download, don't flick it, the levers, um, not the ones in the dungeons anyway, as I think they're already flicked for you, which is a bit annoying, but anyway, so actually, actually, that's what I should say, that's actually what I should say, pay attention to how they are, so if they're already turned on, don't flick them, if they're not turned on, flick them. Etc. So anyway, let's um, continue with this. Okay, I can choose the inferno, so that seems good. Sacred lever, sweet, we were looking for that, that's good. One of his heads. Mm, we got plenty of stuff actually. I might put some of my bolts in there. Get the actual wood in there. I might take a stick just in case I need it when we come up to the crafting table. Uh -huh. Let's go. I don't know how we're going to get back. So we just go back through this way. I guess, yeah, this looks like the way, but this is the way we came in, so I'd say I had to go back through this way. I'm glad we found that lever. I'm looking, I'm waiting to find that lever. I don't know how much of the map we got left to play. I wasn't intending to make a third part, um, so there's probably isn't a lot of the map left. So it'll probably be quite a short video. As soon as we're getting more armor and stuff, I get the feeling there might be a boss or something at the end of this. Just because it's a brand new sword, and I can't see why they'd give us a brand new sword for. Probably don't want to touch the blade. Oh, steel blade, that's the end of Sword. Okay, well, I'm just thinking because they've given us, because the map creator Preston Epicness has given us a better weapon, I get the feeling there might be a big boss battle or something coming up. A lot of adventure maps have a boss battle in them, so that might be coming up. I'm just going to find my way out of here. I think this is it. Yep, this is it. Let's get that sacred lever out. And get rid of it. Oh, uh. Whoa. Is, but the Vault Keeper, I think that says. I think I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Oh, I did. Okay. Wow. Um, let's see. Let's watch it. I think. Chapter 1 checkpoint. I think last checkpoint we want to add is checkpoint. Oh, 
Uh, no, not last shot. Uh, oh crap! Because a lot have gotten stuck. So I can press the wrong checkpoint. Alright, guys, just give me a sec. I'm just gonna get out of this room, and then I will be back. Alright, guys, so I'm back. I got myself out of that room. Um, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Um, it's a bit annoying that they don't have a checkpoint in this room. I think they really should. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna go kill this vault keeper. Let's put myself up here. It's a little easier. Oops. Go down. Okay, let's. This is gonna get really annoying. Okay, for the purpose of this video, I think I might just go set my spawn point there, but let's. Shut the one checkpoint. I'm not gonna be able this checkpoint three was here. Oh, we might be able to use this escape button. Okay, there we go. So that takes us to the checkpoint two we'll use. Okay. This is really irritating. Sorry about this, guys. So we will use checkpoint two for now on, now that I know. I just couldn't remember what checkpoint we're up to. What checkpoint we were up to, sorry. I know it wasn't. Oh, because obviously that wasn't it. <laughs> so. Just means every time we die, we'll have to fall through this tunnel. Okay. Oh, well, that's been there. Alright, well, we might get ourselves in that hole somewhere. This is kind of irritating having to fall through this. Every time we'll get the inferno sorry D to go. It's pretty tough this guy, this is like sort of like a boss battle, this could take a little bit. Crawling through tunnels takes a while as well, which is a bit annoying. Okay, so there's not even a checkpoint. Why? We've got him stuck. That's good, okay, I can't believe I'm stuck. I'll just keep whacking him while he's there. Well, like as soon as he's stuck, we may as well just um, move on rather than trying to kick his way back. Save some time. What the vault? We've reached checkpoint five. Nice. Main ventilation system. Well, this thing does keep going. I didn't think there'd be more to this. But there is. I'll get the inferno sorted out just in case.
Fake is a lie, ha <laughs> ha, I like that. So we do have to go into the main elevator shaft. One. Okay. I go back out to this. We finally. Finally, I escaped this place. I wonder if Randall is still coming. Randall is still coming for me, that's right. Randall was coming after me. I should probably find somewhere to rest. Ooh. Sun is following you. Beware, I think that's supposed to say. You hear something close by, I'd say. Whoa. The story does continue. Okay. There's always this iron here, so I might do that. that place. Okay. So I reached checkpoint five. What am I supposed to do now? No, sleep. Oh, hang on, there's a cave up here. Ooh. Oh, nothing. Oh. What did that do? I heard that, what did that do? Oh! Oh, whoa, what the, whoa! Okay, this is cool. Wait, when you... No, that'll be yours. The prison is destroyed. You took everything from me. Now I will take everything from you. Whoa, hello! Whoa! We're at checkpoint five, guys. Remember that. Wow, Randall's powerful. Okay, I'm gonna slip this out and put that. A leaping gem. Well, let's get chapter one. Is there any checkpoints after five? All there is is a checkpoint six. Oh, that was checkpoint six. Whoops. That one. We might be able to get there. Let's have a go. If not, then I may just have to stop recording for a few seconds and um, see if I can get myself into it. Really you're trying to get up, get out of all. So everything is almost. Nope. Eighth. There we go. So just re trigger the systems. So it should teleport me to where I need to go, and then we can go fight Randall. There we go. So guys, you're probably just going to see the title sequence and everything again. I made a mistake and clicked the wrong one, so actually it's six. Okay, because it's a checkpoint. Six now, where's Randall? There he is. Okay. 
It's just gonna take a while. I wish there was like some sort of boss battle bar or something like that to do so the players could see um, how far, especially with like random and stuff, how long they had to kill him for and how they were working on getting him down. That'd be quite awesome to see. Okay, at least we know now it's chapter. Uh, checkpoint six, so it'll be a lot faster to get back there and hopefully this time kick his butt. Last checkpoint, checkpoint. We're just going to be here for a bit. That's the problem with this thing. I don't... Because I don't think I'm making like any progress at all. I don't see the progress I'm making to kill him. It sort of makes it very boring. There's a boss bar or something like that, or, or something like that up in the top where I could see how I was going. I'm getting him down. I might be more keen to try and have a go a bit more. Moment, I can't tell whether how long I've actually got until I can get him killed. This is just going to get repetitive, and that's the thing, like, I don't, can't tell how I'm going to go, I can't determine how long it's going to take me to fight this boss, or, I can't see my progress, and it's really annoying. Hey guys, I forgot to go and do not disturb. Just gonna stop recording there. Alright guys, sorry about that. I forgot to put my disc on do not disturb. Um, it is now, so there will be no interruptions while I'm working. And while I'm doing this, let's try and kill this thing. For the skeleton. It's going to take a while, but... I'm sure we'll get there eventually. I've got no idea who was calling me. I mean, Discord stopped responding a little bit, so.
Now I'm honest, I'm starting to get bored. And I've been getting bored a lot in this map. Because it's just repetitive. No advance. There's no adventure there's when this bit here. And the boss mobs are just repetitive. And any of the mob fights are just repetitive. No sign of advancement or anything. And it's really annoying. How long have I got to even kill this guy? How strong is he? See what other things we got? Nothing. So once these two swords break, that's it. We won't be able to fight Randall because I don't have anything else to fight Randall with, and Randall will win. Can even upgrade to diamond by any chance? To at least have a decent shot at him. This place has been going on for about 11 minutes, if not more. Probably a little bit more now. About 40? Coming on 20? I'm sure. It's been a long, long while. going to come up a lot like that. Oh, I was slain by Randall and not the other way around. Oh, not come up with I slain Randall, it's just going to come up with Randall slain me. Guys, I'm um, just sort of trying to kick butt here. How long is this thing gonna take? I'm almost at uh, this sword is almost broken. And uh, Randall doesn't look like he's dying anytime soon. Which is really, really annoying, guys. Really annoying. I don't think we're going to kill Randall before this sword runs out of juice. <sighs> Just going on for way too long. And I know it. Right, let's um, bash him up with a pickaxe. I'm going to use every single tool, weapon, and thing I've got 
in my disposal I could use to make something. Oh, I got rid of that angel ages ago. Not that it would have been much help. Of course I withered away, what else would I be up to right now? This is, honestly guys, you can see how this is getting kind of frustrating. I'm now out of weapons, I've had no way, and I can remember the whole entire map to sort of craft my weapons. And Randall's just, just not dying. I'm now currently backing up with a pickaxe to try and kill him. I don't know what's going to happen after this pickaxe runs out. As much as this has been a sort of a fun adventure, it gets quite annoying when it comes to boss fights because you don't get any sense of progressiveness. Like, as far as I'm aware, he's got unlimited health, this guy. I don't know what I'm fighting up against. <sighs> well, guys, I think I'm gonna have to stop the video there for a second. And, uh,. Kill him with um, some commands. Alright, guys, so I actually just decided to go into creative mode rather than using commands to kill him, and I grabbed myself some diamond swords so at least we can sort of even out the odds partly here. At least I got a fair chance of kicking his ass. I grabbed two so I've got a lot more time. At least two will do a bit more damage to him. I don't know what the iron swords are doing. So you guys won't get these in the map, so try and save up your swords as best you can. Um, so it's at the repetitiveness, repetitiveness of um, killing this guy. It's this time I got a bit of an advantage on him. I really should just use commands. And I know it said don't cheat, but when it sort of comes to this and there's not much else I can do, that's really the only option I have is to cheat. Yay, I got him! Yes! I think I just killed him. Which if I did, it's about time. Look how much effort and how long it took for me to do it, it's insane. Did I? Did I kill him? Yes, I did, let's go push the button down in this map. He did it. I did it. I killed him. Wait, he dropped something. There's a stone button on the ceiling. On the ceiling, press it. And the chatter. We also got the short trip read. Did I? Quest. A quest. If you're reading this, then I am dead. I bet that the person who made the entire prison collapse is reading this. Well, real reason why. That prison was so important. It was to me was that it held one of the last crystals 
that could save humanity from the darkness. Now there is only one more crystal left in this world. I have a quest for you. Ooh, in that case, go to the village in the grassy plains. The blacksmith knows where knows where you should go next. Eventually, you'll arrive at the crystal. I want you to take it and then travel to the end. Hero Brian's castle lies. Lies there. Inside, a, inside the castle, there is a heart of darkness. This is the is the core of all evil. Put the crystal inside the heart, and you will save humanity. You only have a few days before darkness goes on a conquest to raid the overworld. Good luck. Oh, there's a stone button on the ceiling, is there? Apparently. Hang on, what are the things in the game? Stone button on the ceiling, press it to end the chapter. So I think this is it. I think this is the end of chapter one, guys. There's the stone button. That's the end of chapter one. Yes, look at that. Okay, well. Okay. Five S question. Damn it. I didn't get all the heads. There are three, I only got two. Oh well guys, I guess we won't get to find out what that prize is at the moment, so the little reward is. But if you guys want to see, if you guys want to actually see, watch you play chapter 2 of this map, because I think I will. Providing some things get improved from chapter 1. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see me play chapter 2, comment down below chapter 2, and I will keep an eye out for it and play it. Alright guys. Thanks anyway guys, thanks for watching, um, see you later, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already, please go and do that now, like this video, and anyway guys, have a nice day.